Welcome to the series, Modern Agents. This is where we learn hands-on how to create and use Langchain agents. When I say Langchain, I mean the latest version 0.3, which came out just recently. In this version, we do a lot of things differently. In this series, we'll mostly use OpenAI models and Python to create our custom agents. And later, we work on multi-agent orchestration using LangGraph. In this video, though, we'll cover two ready-made agents, namely a CSV agent and a Panda data frame agent as a good starting point. Besides learning about those two agents, we'll also learn about converting CSV files and SQL data into Panda data frames and how to display and utilize those data frames. So let's get started. All right, to get started, We'll focus on these library installations. These are the ones I'm going to be needing. Let's get it started. And right here, I'm setting up the OpenAI key, the API key, which is basically getting, which is basically coming from right here. This is Colab Secrets. This is where I'm actually setting the environment keys up and the values right here. And here, I am just pulling them in using this Colab function called userdata.get and assigning my environment variable. All right, so it looks like uh, this installation is, uh, is done. And uh, as you can see here, we have the latest Langchain version 0.3.0 installed. Now let's get to the agents we talked about. All right, so these are the two agents we're gonna work on with, in this video, CSV agent and Panda data frame agent. So let's look into the CSV agent. So initially, I am bringing in all the necessary libraries and data types, for example, the agent type from uh, Langchain types, and then uh, the create CSV class, which will actually create this agent for us from Langchain experimental toolkits, and of course, chat OpenAI for our LLM support from Langchain OpenAI. And here, I am invoking this class creating an agent object by passing uh, these arguments. The first one is the whole chat open AI function with temperature zero and model GPT-40, which is the latest. And then I am pulling in this customer CSV file, uh, which basically is right here. And looks like this. This actually has about 100 customers info. And then uh, here verbose, is set to true because now with this uh, it's going to show us the thought process of the agent or whatever steps the agent takes to accomplish the task right so that is very important for us right now uh, also it helps us troubleshoot now the agent type and uh, as an agent type we are putting in the agent type dot open ai functions which is basically the uh, function calling agent by open ai created by langchain and uh, this is a extra line that wasn't used to be here before uh, version 2, uh, I mean point 0 0.2, uh, it allowed dangerous code equals true. Basically, this is a safety related uh, argument. Basically, you know, to, for this CSV agent to work, uh, it actually calls this Python REPL function, which allows the LLM to run Python code on your system. So they're just trying to let us know about it. That's all. And I can assure you there's nothing dangerous about it. All right, so now uh, we have created our agent. And now we're going to invoke that agent with this question. How many customers are listed? And then we're going to print this result out. All right, so let's run it. All right, so now you can see what it's actually doing. Here, uh, the agent executor invoked the Python REPL assistant function, which is basically this guy right here, and ran the Python code and, uh, you know, counted up all the rows and gave us this answer right here. So now let's uh, make this answer a little bit better just by, you know, getting this output here. All right, so this time we are displaying the result a little bit differently. I mean, we're just getting the uh, output output, not the, we don't want to see our question. And uh, this time I'm also 
I also brought in a new question. Get me the customer's info that are from Cyprus, right? So let's go check it first. Cyprus is right here. And this is the person, Cheryl Myers, is from Cyprus. So let's see what our agent says. All right, so it went ahead and ran the Python function on that CSV file got this result and displayed just this for us and as we saw before cheryl myers is the customer from cyprus and we got another accurate result now let's ask it a bit more difficult question get me the list of customer names who subscribed in 2020 right so let's look at here these are the subscription dates, right? So we have years here. So we're only asking for the list of names that subscribe in the year 2020. So let's go and check it out. Let's run it. All right, we have a nice little list here. And this is the actual output. And we're going to just verify a few. Let's say Cheryl Baxter. Cheryl Baxter 2020. And next person would be Roy Berry. Let's see. Roy Berry. And then Linda Olson. Linda Olson also 2020. And so on and so forth. It is accurate. All right. So with that, we are done with our uh, CSV agent. Now let's go tackle the Panda data frame agent. All right, so before we get started with the Panda agent, we let's look at this data file, our CSV file organized-100.csv, which is right here. It holds information of 100 organizations. Let's just uh, you know look at the content right here by reading it into a data frame using Panda and pandas and then uh, display it using ipython display so let's run this all right so this is pretty much the data structure we have organization id name website country etc etc and this is where we're going to come to verify the information that our agent delivers right so that being said let's minimize it Okay, so let's look at the Panda agent. All right, so as usual, at the beginning, we are bringing in all the libraries, Chat Open AI, and uh, the class Create Pandas Data Frame agent from the Langchain Experimental Agents and the Pandas library to create the data frames. So at the beginning, we just uh, pull in this organization CSV file from right here and create a data frame. And then we create our LLM object using chat open AI model GPT 4.0 and temperature zero, and then invoke this create pandas data frame agent class with these arguments, the LLM, the data frame, the agent type is tool calling. And we're also this time we're keeping it verbose false. Actually, let's make it uh, true so that we can follow the agent's thought process and trace the actions it takes. All right, so once the agent object is created, we just invoke that with a question and get the response here and print out the output. That said, let's run this. All right, so let's see what it came up with. Yes, it used the uh, Python REPL and came up with uh, 100 companies listed, and that's what it tell, it's telling us. So now let's uh, go to a next question. All right, so this time we're going to ask it, which company is from Papua New Guinea, right? So let's run it. All right. Uh, it's Feral LLC. So let's go check here. Feral LLC from Papua New Guinea, okay? All right, so let's go ask it another question. All right, so this time we're going to ask it, which companies are into public safety, right? So let's run this. And we find that 
Hester Limited is in public safety. And once we go back up, public safety, yes, Hester Limited. All right. So now this is the beauty of the data frame agent. I mean, the data frame agent is not limited to just CSV files, Excel files, or anything like that. It can actually get data from other sources, like uh, a SQL database. For example, uh, this guy right here, Chinook DB. So initially, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, grab that and display uh, the, the customer list, which we can you know, later on come back to to verify our agent's answers. So let's run this. All right. So this is pretty much uh, what this Chinook DB customer table contains, right? It's a bunch of customers information. All right, based on that, let's go create our Panda data frame agent. All right, so this is what our Panda data frame agent looks like when we target a SQL DB. So this is the beauty once again, is that look at the code. It's exactly the same as when we called in a CSV, when we brought in organizations, and now we're bringing in a SQLite database right here. But since this is a data frame agent, that's the common thing. So no matter where this data frame is coming from, it's just, it's just going to work as usual, regardless what the data so regardless of the data source, right? So that's the beauty. So you can you keep changing your data source as long as you can convert them into a data frame. You can have the exact same code generating the accurate results, right? So this is, like I said, this is exactly the same code. We're bringing in the exactly same uh, libraries, except for this, I don't need that. Okay, and now uh, once the agent is created, this time we're asking, please find me the customer info of Lewis. And this time it's gonna come from the SQL DB, right? So let's see what it does. And look at that. Now it's actually running SQL queries to get the data and displaying us the data. Lewis Gunclay from Brazil, etc. etc. So now to verify it, if we go out back up. See, this is Luis Gonclave from Brazil, and this is the exact same guy we we're looking for, right? And that being done, let's uh, go to a next question. Okay, so this time let's ask, uh, please find me the customers from Norway, right? So let's run it. All right. Went ahead and ran another query. Customer from Norway, Bjorn Hansen right here, CD Oslo, and let's go verify that. Bjorn Hansen is he's from Norway. All right, let's ask uh, one more question. Okay, give me a list of customer names who are from Brazil, right? So let's see what it does. All right, it went ahead and generated a list of names that are from Brazil. So now this time, let's go verify that. We're not going to dig through all that. What we're going to do, we're going to just uh, get another query in. We're going to add a simple SQL query here. Select from, select star from customers where country is Brazil, right? So let's grab our own list to verify. Look at this. Five results. Eduardo, Alexandri, Roberto, Fernanda, and... Let's verify exact same names. It's a match. So with that, I conclude this ready-made ready -made LangChain agent video. And in the next video, we're going to go ahead and manually create our own custom agent and custom tools. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.